So some few days ago, Samsung launched some new A-series devices. Samsung Ghana was kind to hand me the Samsung Galaxy A23 and the A33, but I'm only going to talk about the A23 in this video. Just a quick review and what to expect from this device. Anyways, Joe here and let's jump to the video now. So this is the Samsung Galaxy A23. The one I have here comes with a peach color which looks very nice and it looks very similar to the Samsung Galaxy A53. There are three other colors you can get the A23 in which is black, white and blue. At the back of the device you are getting a plastic glassy back which makes the device look good and I can tell you this device is very slippery. On the right side of the device is where you can find the up and down volume keys with the fingerprint sensor which is also the power button. At the bottom is where you can find the headphone jack, microphone, USB type C port and the speaker. On the left side is a dual SIM card and a SD card tray. Also the earpiece for receiving calls is located above the selfie camera. Moving on to the display. On the A22 came with a Super AMOLED display but this time on the A23 you are getting a 6.6 inch TFT display with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 screen protection which is good. You will notice the difference if you are switching from an AMOLED display. 1080p resolution, 90hz adaptive refresh rate with a teardrop notch on the top housing the front selfie camera. So the bezels on this device are not something you should really complain about since that's the same bezels you get on the A22. The Galaxy A23 is powered with the Snapdragon 680 chipset. The one I have here is paired with 4 gigs of RAM with 64 gigs internal storage. But you can go all the way up to 6 or 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs internal storage. Since the Snapdragon 680 in this device is a 6 nanometer chip, expect to get a better CPU performance, slightly better gaming performance than the Helio G80 in the A22 and a better and good battery life. I'll do a full test and review on this device including battery life and performance. So please subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications and stay tuned. For the camera, we get a 50 megapixel wide, 5 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel depth and another 2 megapixel macro sensor. On the selfie camera, you are getting an 8 megapixel sensor as well. So the images from this device are good and I can say it can still get the work done. So you can shoot videos in 4K but you can shoot videos in 1080p at 30 frames or 720p at 30 frames. Out of the box, the A23 comes with Android 12 and One UI 4.1, packed with some crazy features like RAM Plus, also known as Virtual RAM, which allows you as a user to increase your RAM using your internal storage. No need for custom ROMs at the moment since the A23 will be getting 3 years of software update and, and 5 years of monthly security patches. Talking about the battery, this guy packs a huge 5000mAh battery with 25 watts fast charging support so this time inside the box you get a charging brick so i can say the a23 can last for more than two or three days if you are not a heavy battery user i think i'm not lying so this is just a quick review of the device and when you compare this with the a22 you can see there are some changes on both sides good and bad in some areas so if you made it to the end thank you for watching like subscribe to see the full review share and stay safe Thank you.